Hello folks, since I'm done with the planets, I want to put this SCT back in storage for the year, but I, I thought, why don't I just try it for one more night, because uh, I want to try and capture the moon with this 2-inch Barlow that I've actually never used yet. It, it's not expensive, I think it's uh, the brand name was Astromania. Yeah, there it is, Astromania. I bought it on Amazon, maybe 50 bucks or so, maybe less, I, I don't remember. But I want to give this a shot and, and see what happens. Now, I didn't... Uh, I didn't rehearse how to put all this together. I think I have all the parts I need. It was a lot more than I thought just to use a two inch barlow. But let me show you what I'm going to do here to get this working. So the first thing I want to do is, um, this is my, my 183, the ASI 183 mono camera. I took it off my solar setup. I want to use this for the moon. I have this little ring adapter that comes with the uh, ASI 183 and so does this bigger ring adapter, it's a, a spacer here, a lot thicker. And I'm going to use this Astronomic Pro Planet 642 BPIR pass filter. Um, I used it before on the moon and it really does seem to make it a little more clear, a little more crisp and sharp. Uh, my friend Jason recommended it. And so let, let's see how this whole thing comes together. So I hope I have everything I need here. Like I said, I'm doing this for the first time here. So I'm going to put this filter onto this little thin ring adapter here, if you can see that. Okay, step one, complete. Now I'm going to put this bigger adapter onto the ASI-183. Okay, that's done. Make sure there's no dust back on outside. Okay, now I'm gonna thread this into the bigger adapter here. If I can do this right. There it goes. See that? I'm going to do it as far as I can. Okay. I thought I was going to need a pen to do this, but I think uh, I think that's good. Now, I'm going to take this, and I have this uh, a T2, 2-inch T2 adapter. Um, I bought it for this SCT here, and I'm going to hopefully now, yeah, T2 adapter threaded on the outside. Alright, yeah, I am going to use the threads on the outside here. So I'm going to take this. So far, everything is going as planned. Okay. So that's good. Now here is the 2-inch adapter. I see some dust in there. Now, I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to tighten this thumb screw. Nice. So far, so good. I like it. Now, I'm going to take this off. That's just the cover here. And this part here is a 2 inch SCT adapter. I bought this separately from the 8SC also. So I'm going to leave that on, and now I'm going to put this on like so, as far as it will go in, and that's about as far as it will go. I got it! Boy, did I plan that perfect or what? I can't believe I, everything I needed, I had it in advance. I like it. We'll see how this goes. I'll go get my laptop and hopefully uh, start imaging the moon. So check this out. Is this cool or what? I am zoomed in on the moon at 4,000 focal length. Wow. This is cool. I've never been this close in and the craters look super cool. And it's not even dark yet. I still have about a half an hour before I can run Pullmaster on my other rig. 
So um, let me see here. I'm going to hit the right now. I'm at uh, by the way exposure um, gain or exposure 66 milliseconds, and I set the gain at 111. Hmm. I wonder if I should go higher with the gain so I can shorten up my my exposure. I never know with this stuff. But uh, the moon doesn't change, so I think I'm probably going to be okay there. I hope you don't hear all these planes right now. They're nonstop. It's ridiculous. Of course, as soon as I start imaging. So I'm going to hit start. And how many frames? You know, I'm at, uh, I'm at the full capture area here at um, uh, my maximum uh, camera's uh, resolution. I'm going to bin one because just in case I want to do a print, I want it at full resolution. Um, let's just record here. I'll probably be capturing all over the moon, different parts of the moon. So I'm going to see if ooh, 2,000 might be too big of a file at full resolution. Let's capture 1,000 frames and see how that, how long that takes here. Oh, wow, this is going to take a long time. My camera's going to, I mean, the telescope is going to, um, it's probably going to, the tracking is not going to be able to last as long as 1,000 frames will capture. Let's, let's stop this here. Uh, let me readjust here. It really swirls when I try to reposition the mount here. All right. Now, let's, let's just uh, cancel that. I want to say, um, how about if I just go 200 frames? Hmm, that's taking too long. I don't really, I don't really want to want to be doing uh, working with these files that are going to be multi gigabytes big. What, what if I just put this gain down to zero? No, I mean raise the gain to two hundred, then I can lower my exposure time. Let's try twenty five milliseconds. Cancel that. That didn't really change. Sometimes I gotta, when I change those settings, I gotta rescan for the camera. And then let's try and uh, reconnect. Okay, that's a bit, okay. That yeah, might be a bit, let's lower that a little bit, down to 20 milliseconds. Let's see how long this takes now. 200 frames. But I cut the exposure time in half. I'm just worried about the tracking moving the moon out of the picture by the time these uh, these video files finish. But I think this one is, uh, I think this will work at, uh, what, 22 milliseconds and gain 200? All right. I'm going to let you guys go, but um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see how this goes. I bought it off Amazon. It wasn't expensive. Some cheapo, Astromania. I'm um, sorry to Astromania if, if you're actually a pretty good brand. I didn't mean to call you a cheapo, but hello, folks. So I want to put this SE. Ooh, there's a bug on it. I want to give it a shot before I put this thing back um, to the, down to the dungeon in the. You know what? One more night out with it might do me some funky. Hello, folks. If I want to put this. Description, yeah.